Welcome everybody. We are going to do a Mercury retrograde reading. The retrograde starts on the 4th or the 5th, depending on um, whatever. <laughs> so if you're wondering when it starts, I just need to shuffle this real quick, Scorpio. Let's see. Scorpio, you have the Four of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands, really good. And you also have this teacher card that says, teach what you know, even if you aren't an, an expert. Uh, you have the ability to help others uncover their true potential. So some of you could be uh, just being an example, which is probably the most spiritual thing you could do right now. I always say, you know, Pluto going into Aquarius in November, I think everybody should just be an example, just be a living example, live your best life. And if you do that and you show other people how to do it, then you are being spiritual. Just that simple. Uh, you have the Four of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. If you're in a relationship, uh, this looks like marriage to me. So <laughs> there you go. If you are currently with a person, this could be the person that you end, end up staying with. Uh, if you want love, then I would say these two cards together are very good because the um, King of Pentacles usually represents a person who's serious, who wants something long term, who wants to be with a person. And so I feel that's what, you know, this could be, be a person who really wants something solid. Uh, the Four of Wands, you know, like I said, can represent marriage. Uh, the thing is, uh, for you fixed signs, uh, there is an e extra focus on creating freedom in your life. And the Four of Wands is all about setting yourself free. Uh, with the Four of Wands, we have to kind of complete something. This right here is kind of like a finish line. And so we have to cross the finish line to set ourselves free. And it looks to me like you could be uh, wrapping something up during this retrograde to set yourself free. And it could be literally anything. Uh, so whatever that is, is going to be a good idea. Uh, you have the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is all about your wealth. So, you know, while I do feel like this could be a person for some of you, uh, for most of you, I feel like this has to do with a skill. Uh, he has these grapes on his cloak. And grapes in the tarot are meant to represent something uh, that is very difficult to grow. Uh, but it says that you have a skill that could increase your wealth. And so I think a lot of you, it's like you could be, maybe you're like leaving one job and getting a job that uses your skills so that you can have more wealth. Uh, maybe you are leaving a business that doesn't use a skill and you're uh, starting a business that does use a skill. And if you're doing that, I feel that there's going to be very quick success. You know, to me, I always say eight of wands is like the slip and slide of life. We have to create a slip and slide with the Eight of Wands, which means we have to remove as much friction as we possibly can. Eight of Wands is all about speed, but really, again, there's another part to it, which again, we have to make sure that we are removing the things that slow us down the most. So I think that this uh, Mercury retrograde would be a really good time for you uh, to remove friction, or if there are things in your life that are slowing you down, it would be a great time to get rid of those things. And as I always say, double down on the things that cause speed, you know, that cause things uh, to move forward faster or smoother. It doesn't even have to be speed. You know, it could just have to do with um, just being efficient. And I feel a lot of you uh, could be creating more efficiency or, you know, creating just being more efficient in general with the Eight of Wands. Uh, also, if you want love, I do feel like there could be communication with a person here. This person doesn't even know you exist. <laughs> I feel like I feel like saying that. So you could be maybe you're being a Scorpio and like spying on a person or something. And uh, if that is for you, if they are an earth sign, then I definitely say it is true. And I feel like they would be interested, but they have to know you exist. Uh, with the four of wands, you have the two of wands. Uh, two of wands is another card of completion. So the two of wands, he's standing at the top of this castle and he's looking out into the world in front of him and he thinks that there's nothing more for him to do. But the story of the two of wands is that if he get got out into the world and he, um, you know, and he kind of just explored new ideas, he would be very successful. So I feel like that is what's going on here uh, with the two of wands. Uh, with the King of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Love it. I'm telling you right now, if, if you're getting married or if you're meeting a person, this is amazing um, because Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire. Ten of Pentacles is, you know, pretty much the best love card in the tarot. It's the It forms a tree of life, which really represents everything you want and desire to have in your life. And so I feel you could be finding a really solid connection. Uh, even if you don't want love, and even if you do, King of Pentacles with Ten of Pentacles is amazing. It is like total wealth and abundance coming in for you. The thing with the Ten of Pentacles is that, again, we have to learn. And you have that teacher card, which says, teach what you know. Um, but it might be a good time for you as well to learn. All the fixed signs today already have had cards of learning, if you haven't noticed. So it definitely seems to be like a fixed sign 
education time or time to get education uh, if you're a fixed sign. I think that would lead to a lot of success. Uh, and uh, finally here, you have this temperance card. Uh, I feel like you've been patient enough. I feel like the temperance card is saying you're finally getting something that you have d been waiting for or have been trying to work towards. Uh, this right here is like the path to glory, and there's this glowing crown right here. And I feel that for a lot of you, you could be uh, on this path or this journey to uh, getting your crown here, Scorpio. So uh, that looks really, really good, Scorpio. Love it. Uh, so thank you, Scorpio. Uh, we'll do a collective as well. So for the collective, we have the uh, Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Uh, for the collective, we have this workaholic card. It says, having a strong work ethic and giving it 110% all of the time. It says, hard work beats talent when uh, talent doesn't work hard. Uh, I actually feel like everybody in the collective is going to be feeling very motivated. So again, it could be one of those retrogrades where uh, people really feel more uh, motivated, more energetic, not the other way around. Uh, I would say that I do think it's a good time uh, to practice taking a rest or getting rest or taking a break. We have Mars going retrograde at the end of the year, pretty much in the same area of the sky in Leo. This Mercury retrogrades in Leo. And, um, you know, also we'll have Mars going retrograde in Leo at the end of the year. And so I kind of feel it's like a little bit of practice for when we get there. Uh, Leo is kind of like our life force, our vitality. And so, I, you know, when Mars goes retrograde there, you're going to want to have energy saved up. So if you feel like working, work. If you feel like resting and sleeping, rest and sleep, like practice collecting your energy so that when we get to the end of the year, you have more than enough energy to get through the end of the year. Uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is a card of resourcefulness. I think that it's a good idea for everyone to practice resourcefulness at this time. We are literally in a time of resourcefulness. Why do you think all this weird stuff is happening with money and all that other stuff? So Queen of Pentacles doesn't say don't spend money. She just says, you know, be resourceful. If you can do something for cheaper or, you know, if you can get things on sale or if you can find a better way to make money or any of that, you know, I w that's what I would be looking for uh, and that's what I would be studying with the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, Collective has the Seven of Cups as well. Uh, big dreams at this time. We have Neptune and Pisces. We also have Saturn and Pisces. So Neptune and Pisces is your crazy ass idea. Saturn and Pisces says, get your ass moving. And if you actually start working on that crazy idea, then you might just create whatever it is. So I think we are in a time of big dreams. Neptune's going retrograde as well. Uh, well, it is, and Saturn. And so, you know, again, I think that now is the perfect time with Neptune going retrograde to kind of like take the, that crazy idea and ground it in reality. When you think about it, when it's moving forward, uh, you know, being on Neptune would be like being under 100 hurricanes going 10,000 miles an hour uh, with, you know, high seas, waves, you know, uh, 200 feet tall, you know, the craziest thing you could possibly imagine, right? So now that Neptune is going retrograde, it's kind of like calming down. And now is the time where we could manifest our wildest dreams if we put the work in. So I would make sure to put the work in with that Seven of Cups. Uh, you have the Eight of Wands Collective. And let me just do this real quick. Uh, the Eight of Wands is quick success or a quick conclusion. The Eight of Wands is also good news. But also remember what I said earlier about the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is like the slip and slide of life. We have to, and I think this is what everybody should be doing until like 2033. So, you know, almost the next 10 years, I think we all need to be paying very close attention to what causes friction and we need to pay very close att attention to what removes friction from our life and speeds things up. As long as we double down on those things that speed things up or make things more efficient, we will be like 30 times more successful than we normally would be. So make sure you're paying attention. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant. Yeah, love love is changing. So I think that for and those of you that want love or marriage, love is changing. I also feel that this could be the opportunity for blessings. He is blessing these two people in front of him here. So I really do feel that there could be like a really solid opportunity to receive some blessings in your life. Uh, with the Seven of Cups, you have the Two of Cups. Um, yeah, I think people need to like stop dreaming about relationships at this time as well. <laughs> uh, so Neptune going retrograde is great uh, because... It's like part of my problem uh, with Neptune, especially in Pisces, is it's like the fantasy. It's just uh, mental masturbation, basically. It's like the fantasy feels better than the reality, or actually you don't know. 
because um, what happens with uh, Neptune and Pisces with relationships is like we get into a relationship, but maybe we just are like talking to the person, right? Or maybe we are just um, texting the person and we develop this fantasy around the connection. Uh, so the fantasy, we kind of don't want to lose the fantasy. So then we never make it a reality. And, uh, you know, right now, with Neptune going retrograde, it's time to, you know, make that fantasy a reality. This could be love, uh, but the Two of Cups could also just be something that you will love in your life. It could, you know, Two of Cups can be you you and your higher self, and your higher self is trying to communicate with you, which showed up like 20 times today in all the readings, right? So uh, clearly it's a very spiritual time, and Mercury retrograde can be very spiritual. So I think we have to, you know, if our higher self is telling us to do something, we need to like manifest whatever that is uh, down on Earth. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, you also have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles says get to work. Eight of Pentacles is, a, a, you know, what's more important than that, though? What, you know what I really want to say here, collective, is that Eight of Pentacles is about looking at your work. It's about seeing how much work you have already done. It's about looking at what you have already accomplished and putting that into perspective. Sometimes I think we need to back up and, and look at everything that we've accomplished because then it makes the next thing we're about to do 20 times easier. Because we're, we're if you're too focused on work, you're not seeing that what you're about to do could be easier. You know, and I feel like this is saying, it's like you already have all this knowledge and wisdom which came up a lot during these readings and now by putting things into work or putting things into practice you'll be able to accomplish something you know the next thing much easier or faster or whatever so there you go so uh thank you and definitely enjoy the rest of your week